Hi friends, welcome to the AS tutorial. In this video, we will see how to learn biomechanics easily and important topics in exam point of view. So what are the most repeated questions that will be asked in exams? So many of us will think biomechanics is the toughest subject in the year. Like in second year, we will have biomechanics. Compared to other subject, we will think that biomechanics is the toughest subject. Am I right? Many of you would have really thought about it. Uh, first, when I started to read this book, my first topic was uh, shoulder complex. When I opened it and just gone through the pages itself, my head started to turn over. Really, I, I hope sure that you would have also gone through this experience. But really, biomechanics is the easiest subject. Literally, I, I now understand it. I hope you will also understand it one day completely and you will also feel that it is the easier subject. So what to do is when you go through the pages and you feel oh this much is there to study then split into topics like in shoulder complex itself split the topics. So my first step is that split the topics. For example you are going through shoulder complex then go through the introduction first then the joints first you are taking sternoclavicular joint then acromioclavicular but suppose you are going through sternoclavicular joint along with that study the functions also study its functions because you already will know the anatomy because we have studied in the first year so when you understand the structure simultaneously go through the functions so it will be easy so each joint and its functions Next, go to acromioclavicular, its function. Then to the uh, scapular thoracic and its function. Like this, if you study, it will be easy. And my second tip is that never mug up. Not only in biomechanics, in any of the subjects in medicine, when you mug up, it doesn't give you hands. Maybe in exam point of view, you can write. But when you practice, it will never be beneficial for you. Really. And... And whenever you read something, compare it with the images, study it with the images so that it will be really helpful and makes you to understand easily where the structures are present, where it arises, how, how the function is occurring. Everything will be easy more than just through words. When we visualize it, it will be more easier. And my third tip is make your own notes. When you write on your own handwriting and in your own language, in the perspective of your own understanding, it will be really helpful. And even when you are going to revise a day before your exam also, this will really help you a lot. Suppose if you think I have this much to read, where am I going to find time to write? Uh, then just there is no need that you have to sit and write. You can just scribble while you are reading the text. Just uh, make a points. Just a points will be more than enough. There is no need that uh, you have to write it beautifully. There is no need for those things. But believe me, this will be a really useful method. Now we are going to see what are the topics that are frequently asked in exams. First, the first topic that is the joint structure and function. The introduction to biomechanics. These three chapters are really important. Many of them will skip these three chapters. But these three chapters are really simple and important. Uh, in first chapter, we have the COG, LOG, then axis and planes. Then we will also have the Newton's law. Then levers and its mechanical advantage. Then we will see about the types of joint in the second. And in the third, we will know about the uh, muscle, muscle functions, contractile unit and the stress strain curve. So these are the topics and the first section is really important. These three chapters are really, really important. In joint wise, if we see the shoulder complex, the hip complex and the knee, these three are really main. And inside these, there are topics that are also main. Like in shoulder, uh, shoulder complex, we have the scapulohumeral rhythm. In hip, we have to know about the coxa valgus, coxa varum, and uh, genu varum, genu valgus, and the coupled motions. The structural adaptation of femur or the trabecular system. And uh, here we have the screw home movement and uh, lock that is the locking and locking of the knee and the posture and the gait the, these two are really important uh, and we cannot omit it it have to be known 
and then next uh, we have to also know about the vertebral column thorax and the just about the ribs everything we have to know we need to know about everything but the most important topic is the first three chapters and in joint wise if you see the these three uh, that is the shoulder hip and the knee and we have to also know about the posture and the gait so these are the uh, important most important topic that will be asked in the exams if you want to know about any topics in biomechanics you can click the link in the description given below or if you need any topics to be discussed you can comment it if you like the video click the like button and thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you guys the as tutorial